portion of the program where we get Nate and Bob in trouble because we ask you to grade someone. Oh, terrific. The man who won the championship in 2012, Brad Keselowski, what do you think? What kind of grade are we giving him for 2013? Honestly, if you look at what they did or didn't do this year, I have to give him a C at best. And the big thing here is I know they won a race, but at the same time, they didn't make the chase. If he would have made the chase and then had the chase that they did, he probably would have got about a B. But they really struggled. You know, they, they set off with guns a-blazing with a bunch of top fives to start the season. But it took them a while to get in gear. And I think what they lost earlier in the year with that rear end infraction on both the 2 and the 22 hurt that team for a long time. And it took them a while to recover from that because I think that was a little bit of a secret to their success for a long time. So I say C at that. I'm going to be a little bit easier here, uh, and uh, Bob and Adam, I'm going to give them a C+. I'm going to grade on a curve a little bit because I think that the Ford factor did impact the number two team. I think Brad talked about this a few months ago, that, that Ford worked so hard on the marketing side of the car that a little bit of the competition side of the car got lost on the Gen 6. But I still think that they salvaged it with the win at Charlotte, and I think Brad Keselowski ran very well during the chase. He didn't just fall off the map like we've seen some other drivers do uh, who miss it. And I, I think that yeah, is good it's enough for it's a little bit above average. It's even it's above Ford winning. Now, you talk about grading on a curve, though. <laughs> Do you have to factor in the success that Joey Logano had in his first year with Team Penske? Because he made the chase and, and won a race. So you, you could argue he was a notch above Brad. Logano was a B, certainly. <laughs> I, I feel like you know, Brad wins that race earlier. He's in the chase just like Joey is. What a great debate, Danielle.